are bath bombs and slime. And when you're making slime, you have to make sure you have these three important ingredients. Saline solution, but with the saline solution, you have to make sure the ingredients, it states boric acid. If your saline solution doesn't have boric acid in it, it'll just, it won't make the slime become slime. It will just stay liquidy like glue. Baking soda and Elmer's glue. A few years ago, we showed you guys how to make fluffy slime, but today we're showing you how to make crunchy slime. And if you're new to our show, hi, I'm Riley. I'm Reese. And I'm Grace. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. For more videos in the future, make sure to hit that notification bell. Now on to the video. And the things you'll be needing for this craft are one glass bowl, Elmer's glue, Sailing solution was borac acid and a pinch of baking soda. For your crunchy element, use foam beads. Any size will work. And lastly, if you want to color your slime, use acrylic paints or food coloring. The first step is to pour as much Elmer's glue as you want into your bowl. It really depends how much slime you're intending to make. It really isn't an exact measurement. It's just however much glue, slime you want to make, pour in that amount of glue. The next step is to take your paint and add about three squirts in. It is important that you put your paint in before your baking soda. Now we're mixing our paint in. Make sure it's mixed thoroughly. When you're putting your baking soda in, you can add three pinches of baking soda. One, two, I'll get a them together because I don't even want to see. The next step is to add some saline solution. A couple squirts. If you if your slime isn't coming together right away after a couple mixes, you might want to add more. Once your slime pulls away from the bowl, you can start kneading it with your hands, like Reese is right now. Don't add too much saline solution or else your slime will become non-stretchy. Mine is pulling away from the bowl, so I'm going to go in with my hands. If the slime is sticking to your hands as you're kneading it, then you can add a little more saline solution. Once your slime has all come together, you are ready to put your beads in. All right guys, so when you're making your crunchy slime, it doesn't just have to be crunchy beads, it can be anything from beads to rainbow balloons to even Legos, really anything you have around your house you can use. All right guys, here I go. And now you just mix the slime in with the crunchy beads. little or as many beads as you'd like in your slime. The more beads you put in, the crunchier your slime will be. All right guys, I'm about to drop my slime into the beads. My slime turned out really well. 